Did you see that? Yeah, it's a fly. I got this. No, I got this. I mean, it was around here just a second ago. What? Jay? Don't move. What? Just stay still. It's on my face, right? Just don't worry. It doesn't bite. But stay still. But relax. Wait. Ow. Ash. Missed it. Sorry, bro. Ash. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yes. Ugh. Explain. Explain what? I paid for a job. That job is not done. So, explain. There was a fatal accident. They all crashed. No survivor. How? You tell me how. Who are we messing with? Got out another set of people. The Martin's boy must be kidnapped today. Never. I do no such thing. What did you just say to me? Never. You hurt me, old fool. Ask of me. I don't lose. When I want a job done, it gets done. Understood? Oh. You don't lose. But I lost three of my strong men to your job. That loss is on you, not me. I know about the power tussle between you and Sawyer. Do not bite more than you can chew, boy. <laughs> you want him dead at all costs, right? Stop. But killing him is not enough for you. So you desperately want a son murdered right before his eyes. Do you know what happens to those who know what they should? They run the show. The next time you pull that stunt, I will have my men go you down. Get that in your skull. What do you want? Over the price. 
and I will get the job done. Do not bite the finger that fits you, boy. If the nails are dirty and the fingers are gone, <laughs> double the price and I will get your job done. When? When I say it is. Anything from him. I don't know. I don't know who to talk to. I don't know who to call. Mr. Dibola, huh. you need to calm down. <laughs> you said he called you the day before you discovered he was kidnapped. Yes, he did. What exactly did he tell you? He said he said he was safe in a friend's place. And who is this friend? He called his name Kayode. And he said he was God sent. God sent? That was how he said it. And after that, I tried reaching out to him, only to discover that he's nowhere to be found. <sighs> this is an obvious case of kidnap. It's been going on in that school for some time so now. So, officer, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? <sighs> Mr. Debola. You need to take it easy and relax. Relax. Officer, <laughs> we are talking about my only son here. I don't have any other. Mr. Debo, hmm? if you don't relax, you will mess things up. Things are already messed up, officer. Things are already messed up. He didn't want to go to that school. I was the one that forced him to go there. Look, if anything should happen to my son, I, I will not forgive myself. I will not forgive myself. I need you to listen. I understand exactly how you feel. I have a son too. And he's all I have. His father passed last year. Okay, so trust me, I understand. And I will make this my sole priority to find him. Okay? I will find him. But you need to calm down. You need to relax. We will find him. Lord Jesus, you sent me to this school for a purpose. This is my Nineveh. But just like Jonah, I disobeyed your call and ran away from purpose. Just like Jonah, I was asleep spiritually. That man, Kazu, he would have been a great agent of change. I had the bread of life to satisfy his hunger for salvation, but I held it back from him. I had water to quench his thirst, but I refuse to offer it to him. <laughs> ah, that man is going to die in his sins because of my lack of faith. For some days now, I have been in the belly of a whale. Now my eyes are opened. I see my faults clearly. Lord, please forgive me. Please have mercy on me. Lord, if you allow this will to spit me out, I will do your biddings. 
I will follow your will. Wherever you send me, I will go. <laughs> this school will be my mission field. So I told you to stand and you foolishly stood. Baba, Baba, you know the year person. You know your year person. This man is not an ordinary man. Die, he dropped that one. What makes him special? Baba, I don't threaten people for this campus. When I look at their eyes, I see fear. You're a bloody coward. That's what you are. Okay, okay, Baba. See, I prefer to be a coward than fight to someone that claims he has been on the third dimension. What? That. On the third dimension. What? On what? On the third dimension. What did what did happen now? Why not look me as if I packed shit for body now? The third dimension? That, that, that's what he said. How did he say it? He said, "Have you ever caught fire on the first in rank, order of the secret seer?" Those were his words. Nah, it's, it's it's not possible. But, but, but what's not possible? There are only two people with the keys to the third dimension. The Grandmaster and the first in rank, holder of the secret seer. The first in rank had a fire accident in the third dimension. But no one knew how or where. This is a top hidden secret, known only to the secret seers of the underworld. <laughs> I'm in trouble. You can't be here. Ah, uh, but, but what, what do you mean I can't be here? You can't be here. Who will protect me now? <laughs> <laughs> See here. Your protection is no more in my hands, so. Ah. You, you can't be here. You can't, you, you can't be here. Baba, Baba, you, you told me I passed through death. <laughs> and death cannot pass through me. The uh, living man can pass through death. But it is only a ghost that passes through the third dimension. Huh. Who in hell did you pick your foot? I piss for you now. I piss for you. What? That's his name, Martin Sawyer. Is he in the school? Wait a minute. You know him. He is a target. There's a prize on his head. Man, I can't cross this line. But you have crossed the line. Oh. You have messed with the ghost. Ah, I'm in trouble. So it becomes my fate now. <laughs> 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 uh, there is no way to run to. Ah. He will haunt you. Ah. And he will kill you. Put your house in order. You can't survive another day. You are a dead man.
Agwero. Martins. Dele is kidnapped. His father told me. Ah. No, no, no. This is bad news. Yes, it is. But we will find him. Now, now I'm scared. Why? That means no one is really safe. That Dele is a child of God. So explain to me, how can the child of God be kidnapped? Martins, take it easy. I can't take it easy. I hear about the kidnappings and deaths in this school. I have never thought that someone so close to us can be caught in that mess. Martins, when God allows a child of God to pass through a mess, it is to bring out a message. I hear the message loud and clear. Uh, can you share it with me? Well, there's nothing to share. We all have to watch our backs because no one is safe. No one. Martins, what is wrong with you? Dele is wrong with me. I didn't know that boy was coming to this school. Now imagine my shock to hear that that boy is... Dele is kidnapped. He will come back home. I'm sure of that. What makes you say that? Because all things, good or bad, work together for the good of those that love God and those who are the called according to his purpose. But the thing... We, we, we will talk later. <laughs> Martins. I think I'm being watched. I'm being watched. We, we will talk later. <laughs> who, who is watching you? We will talk later, Baba. We will talk later. We will talk later. Martins? Martins! I'm in trouble. I'm next in line. They're coming for me. They're going to kidnap me. What makes you think so? You didn't see the face I saw. This guy was sweating. His eyes were red. They're going to kidnap me, Baba. God forbid, son. God forbid that. God forbid. If we fidget over every look and stare, we will live in the cave. Uh, mommy, if someone looks at me strangely, mm. I will go after him and with love ask what the problem is. Typical Baba Benro. Oh, no, I, mean, I won't conclude so far as to kidnap. Mm. Uh, instead, I will invite the person to my house. Eh? Which, which, which house? Which of the house? How many houses do we have? I know your love for strange people overwhelms you. But don't bring a visitor I am not expecting. Understood. Sorry, sorry. I can't help but ask. Am I a strange person? I can't help but ask. Why are you asking? Because I can't help but notice the love and the affection that you have for me. And mommy just confirmed it. I can't help but discard this unnecessary confirmation which is... Can we just help ourselves? By forgetting that I brought up this issue of you loving strange and weird people. It is the nature of Christ. He loves us even when we are unlovable. So I can't help but ask, was I unlovable? Uh, well, I can't help but not answer. Mommy? I can't help but go with my husband. Then can you help me? Can someone help me by praying for me? About what, Martins? God's covering, God's protection. Uh, don't you have much to pray? Uh, has something gone with your mouth or are you not a child of God? See, I revealed a hidden secret to the whole class. And that is enough reason for them to come for me. What secret? I can't, I can't say it. Ah, come on, tell us. I promise you we won't tell a soul. A soul will not hear this. It, 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 it is not something I should be saying out loud. Say it! <clears throat> okay, so, Daddy, Mommy, please, come forward. 
Come closer, please. So, um, no blood, no glory. No blood, no glory! Don't, don't, don't say it out loud. Now. Don't say these kind of things out. That is not a secret. Through the blood of Jesus, we have seen the glory. Stop. Can you take me serious for once? Daddy, let's take him serious. How should I take him serious? Is it when I squeeze my face like crayfish? I mean, what exactly is the secret in the blood and glory? That's it, Daddy, Mommy, those words are used only in the underworld. The third dimension is a hidden secret in the underworld. Only few people know. When I was in the prison, my father visited me several times through the passage of the third dimension. If they know that I know, then I'm done. They will come for me. Martins, if they dare come for you, you go for them. Ha! I told the whole class that I brought down fire on the first in rank. My father is just one man. Just one man. Imagine if they all come for me. Martins, one with God is the majority. If they come for you, you go for them. No blood, no glory. Adi? What are you looking ah, for? What are you doing? What are you doing? The only blood you can see here is the blood of Jesus. No blood, please, no glory. Please, I beg you, don't say those words again. I'm begging you. Don't say what? I'm not going to say it. I'm, I'm not going to say it. You're not no blood, no glory. Oh, Baba. Please. I'm sorry. Can you can you just pray for me? That's what I'm asking for. Um, let me down. Let's pray. Let's take this song together. Yes. Yes. Oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. One, two. Let's take it together. Oh, oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Mm. Father, we thank you for your blood. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your blood and your glory. We thank you because no blood, no glory. Oh, okay, okay. Daddy, I, I can't do this anymore. What, what, what's Daddy. happening? What is, what is, what is not happening, Daddy? Uh, but we are praying. What kind of prayer is that? You literally your prayer with blood and glory. Daddy, this is no longer funny. Mommy, I'm not trying to be funny. If the blood of Jesus was not shed, how would we have seen his glory? No, no, you don't have to be too direct. Martins, you are afraid. No, I'm not afraid, I'm not scared. I, I just feel you shouldn't be saying it, uh, blood and glory, you shouldn't, shouldn't be saying that. Why? Because that, see, those words were the words that I heard when I found that my father was a cultist. <laughs> those words take me back in time. So please, I'm begging you, stop saying them. Please, stop. Martins, faith is the key God uses to lift up a believer. Fear is the key the devil uses to bring down a believer. We've been talking for some minutes and I've been trying to decipher the problem. How can the sight of a mere student cause you so much worry? But now I understand. Now I know the problem. It is not the boy with the strange look. It is my son with a strange heart, with a fearful heart. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Second Timothy chapter one, verse number seven. Martins, 
the forces against you are not as strong as you think they are. God help me. It is true they've seen darkness, but you have seen the light. It is true they've eaten with the devil, but you have eaten with the Lord. Martins, the devil knows how to use darkness to distract the believer from saying the power of God's light. Martins, you have the light of God in you. There's no room for fear because through his blood we have seen his glory. Mm -hmm. Through his blood we have seen his glory and we are victorious. Hallelujah. Yes. And we have the victory. Yes. No blood, no crime. Glory be to Jesus. Oh, we have the victory. Yes. Because through his blood, we have seen his glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yes, Jesus. Okay, so Flora, um, this is equation one. Two x plus three equals ten. So, you know, this positive sign, once it's leaving the equation, going to the right side, it will become what? Negative. You understand? So that would be 10 minus the 2x equals. Sandra, Can you understand this? Ah. Once this is leaving here, it will be going to minus 3. That's 10 minus 3 equals 7. That's 2x equals to 7. Then you find x. Why are you the quick verse? You see how the quick verse. If you know to understand this kind of simple thing, how you want to get and invest it? No, because I won't discourage you. Flora, no road for this thing. No, there's no way. There's no way in this ah. thing at all. Way go day for me. Ah. Uh -uh. Even if the entire university showed and say no admission, admission go there for me. Because my Bible talks say, where there's casting down, I go say there's lifting up. I don't hear you, Flora. See, it be like say your faith don't the big past my own. I don't do again. You don't do like this. See, down there they form spiritual. You know, no say me and the Holy Spirit, our parole don't tight go. <laughs> I'm waiting down on call me. Ah, ah, you go just the talks like say you be Jesus Christ firstborn. Like say don't consult you before following me talk. <sighs> Flora, why you talk like this now, eh? You don't know say waiting in tell of see vex me go. If no be say I be born again Christian child of God and Holy Spirit done the inside of me. I for finish you on this spot. But Holy Spirit done the inside of me. I don't feel they do anyhow again. <sighs> now what thing I do? What thing I talk? You talk, say, university no be for person like me. I talk, um, you even talk worse, Seth. I can't the reason, say, no be Sandra, we follow me, they preach the other time be this. Waiting do our faith. You they talk like person, we no get faith. So I no be saying I no get faith. But they show you facts. You know if you enter university, if you no pass all your exams. Sandra, if Peter follow facts, he go enter water. If one follow facts, he go build hack. If Abraham follow fast, he go carry only Pekin. Go put for wood roast. Now where Bible talks say Abraham carry Pekin go roast to oh. Sandra. You sure say you still the spiritual so? Uh -uh. You sure say you still they read your Bible? Uh -uh. Bible talks say Papa carry only Pekin. He won't go use do sacrifice. Now so he can't see Ram. And Baba can't reason say as Ram done day. He no need to use his only picking. Go do suya again. Suya. Sorry, sacrifice. Ha! See, eh? I don't tell you. If you continue to the preach like this, you go just confuse a lot of people. Because ah, why now? You go confuse them. You go mislead them, confuse them, all of them. Join. See, Sandra. Get your facts right. When faith is talking, facts must shut up. Yes, ma. Faith and fact, they know they're the same level at all. <laughs> okay, ma. Faith be like elder sister. Fact be like younger. Fact must respect faith. Like me and you now. You know if they do anyhow, because I be your egg bone. I feel worse you slap if you do anyhow. Now so faith be. If fact do anyhow, now better slap she go chop. You understand? I understand, ma. I've been blessed, ma. <laughs> we bless God. Oh. I don't even know where all these ideas they come from. <laughs> but I feel like I said that the Holy Spirit, they do have. <laughs> I hear you, ma. We bless God. Oh. More grace, ma. Amen. Oh. And uh, may the Lord grant you great utterance, ma. Amen. Oh. And it will help you to get your fact right, ma. Hey.
Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> Wait, why you did tell me all this, ma mama? You don't talk am now. You say facts must respect fit, Abby. If you no one chop slap, go give himself sense, Abby, and respect you. I don't respect you now. Now you be fit. <laughs> don't be example I did give. Ah, this is your example go confuse plenty of people one day. I don't they tell you. Gonna give strange example. Sandra, See me, I not do anything. Eh? Bad day. Bad day, you seem absent minded. I have a lot on my mind. I'm sorry. I understand. I understand. In our last conference, the Grand Master charged you with the responsibility of. Uh, destroying Soya. And what are you doing about that? I'm taking my time. Taking your time? Hmm. I see. I hear the man goes around telling everyone who cares to listen that he and his son will completely wipe us out. Wipe us out. The secret seer of the underworld. Wipe us out. We are becoming a laughing stock because you are taking your time. God forbid that I let Soya die without tasting the pain and agony I felt when I lost my daughter. God forbid. Don't waste the authority and the privilege the Grand Master has entrusted into your care because of the satisfaction of seeing uh, Sonya experience agony and pain. Chew that man. Spit him out. Finish him before he finishes us with his mouth all around the place. My wife is lying on the city bed as you speak. She has not gotten over the shock. Yet, you want me to grant Sonia a peaceful death. Ah, no, 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 God forbid. Toss her to sleep and daughter's truth. I'm going to make sure the death of the son is as dramatic as possible. While he watches, right before his eyes. Take your time. But don't waste it. Don't waste it. And remember, no blood, no glory. Buddy. Sonia! This place looks more and more like a grave site. We are the numerous um, protocol and security guys that do litter this place, you know, before this, this magnificent building, this majestic edifice. They are all gone. No security, no protocol. Everything just dry. <laughs> Graveside! Graveside. Daddy, I'm sure you have not come to inspect protocol and security. <laughs> First in rank, order of the secrets here. <laughs> what do you want? Well, um, I hear you go about announcing to the entire world that you and your son will destroy the secret seers of the Honda world. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And that's true. Obviously, you are not as powerful as you would want us to believe you. Really? Uh -huh. That's right. Anyone who has the powers to call down fire from the third dimension to the physical realm 
It's obviously more powerful than the secret seers of the underworld. Mm, mm. So, you get ready mm, mm. to meet your impending doom. Huh? I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. The Grand Master has given me the power to destroy you. So, what are you waiting for? I gave you my word, and I intend to keep it. Mm -hmm. What word is that? Ha ha ha! It's blood will spill right in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what is hindering you? Ah, you know me, Soya. You know me. I'll let you take my time. <laughs> you cannot fool me. Mm. The reason you have not been able to touch that boy is because he is too strong for you. Oh. He has powers far beyond what you can ever dream of operating in. I said it before and I am saying it now. My son and I will destroy all of you. Mm. Mm. Good, good. Well, e enough of this um, irrelevant talk, you know. Um, I've just come to ask you a question. Go on, and what question is that? How do you want it? Want what? It's death! Because you will die. <laughs> but due to our old friendship, I want to give you that preference, you know, to tell me how you want him to die. Simple. Look, I have no time for your irrelevant, childish talks. I'm sure you still remember the way to the gate. <laughs> Watch your back, Sanya. Watch your back. See you soon, old friend. See you soon, old pal. Good. Because if people are moored shallowly, then storms wreck them. And storms come along. So I'm talking to people about how they can build a foundation underneath them that works and and uh, people need to know that because otherwise their lives are harder than they need to be but what is it that you have that no one else has what are you offering that no one else is right now well I think I think that is what I'm offering uh, that, that's not part of the public discussion you know and it's grounded in my clinical knowledge so I've been a clinician for a very long time and I'm, I'm familiar with the works of most of the great 20th century clinicians and a reasonable amount of philosophy and a good swath of literature. And I'm a credible scientist, and so I can bring that together. A metaphor is a figure of speech in which a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. A metaphor is an application of action in which an object is applied to a phrase. Ah, which kind of nonsense are they talk safe? A metaphor is a figure of speech in which a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. A metaphor is an action word applied to a phrase. Ah. Ah. Holy Spirit. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. You never leave me. You said that you won't forsake me. You're right beside me, and that is all that matters. 
The sun will smite me, and the moon needs for you not hurt me. The flood won't sweep me, the Lord is my uncle. You are the covenant-keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant-keeping God. You are the covenant-keeping God. You shall not die. You will live to fulfill the glory of the Lord in the land of the living. No weapon, no weapon fashioned against you will prosper in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, ah. Jesus, save my son. Save my son. Save my son. Every tongue that rises against you daily shall be condemned. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord because the righteousness is of God. Daily, ah, Lord Jesus, save my soul. Let the purpose of the enemies be scattered. <laughs> Enjoying it. Oh, good. That's my boy. Hello, officer. Hello, who is this? This is Barista Debola. We discussed earlier today about my missing son. Oh, yes. Is there any update? Mr. Antigola, I told you to relax. You can't be calling me every now and then. <sighs> Officer, I don't know who else to talk to. Who else should I call? If you are not careful, I'm going to block you. What? Ah, why will you do that? Why? Because you're not giving me any rest. But I can't rest. I can't rest, Officer. I understand what you're going through. And I have promised to do my best. But you see, the only thing this consistent cause is doing is giving me pressure. I don't talk well under pressure, Mr. Dibola. Officer, you said you have a son, right? Yes, I do. And where is he right now? He's here with me. Why? Who will you call if you just suddenly find out that you cannot owe your son or talk to him? And who will you call if you suddenly find out that your son is missing? How dare you bring my son into this? I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I... You 
have crossed the line. Hello? Hello? What do you want to carry two guns do? Kazim, person go die today. Now today I go end the matter. What do they talk? See, Kazim, if I sleep small, now I had to see. If I don't close my eyes, now I had to see. See, the best way to do this matter, now to go challenge Who? The ghost now? <laughs> you want to kill ghosts? Keep your eyes on the news. I think they die today. Come in. Good day, sir. Good afternoon, officer. I am Officer Gabriel. Yes. How may I be of help, officer? Can I sit? Oh, sorry. Please, please. Sit. Thank you, sir. How can I be of help, officer? Just this week, a boy was kidnapped from the school. Yes, yes. Uh, I have been comforting parents all week. In fact, if you'd come in a few minutes ago, you would have seen me comforting another parent. I'm sure if you yourself had been a parent, I would also have comforted you also. I don't need your comforts. What I need is information. His name is Dele. Dele Adegola. He is the only child of his father. He was kidnapped. So, what exactly am I supposed to do with this information? I don't know, sir. But certainly, I don't expect you to ask me that question. I allowed you into my office because I thought surely you are a respected, respectable officer of the law and that you had something meaningful to contribute. A boy is missing from your school. Isn't that something meaningful to attend to? Woman. Am I supposed to be crying or willing because of a missing boy? What I need you to do, sir, is to show concern and willingness to rescue the boy in question. But the best you have done is throw ridiculous questions at me. If I throw ridiculous questions at you, then you catch them. That is the list of students who have been kidnapped in this school since I became the registrar. If you want to look for kidnapped people, then start with them. Wow. 
Is this bad luck or coincidence? Excuse me? This number of students have been kidnapped since you became a registrar. So I take it that in previous era, there was no kidnap. Why is yours different? Look at who is now asking ridiculous questions. If I throw ridiculous questions at you, you catch them. Get out. I'm not ready. I said get out. I said I am not ready. We are not done here. We are still questioning. <laughs> Yes, ma. Good. You don't know me, Registrar. Is there a question in there somewhere? When I take up a case, I see it to the end. And if I meet you at the other side of the end, that will be your end. There is always an end for everyone. Yeah, true. But for some, it comes sooner. For you, it has just arrived. This is the end of your time in my office. Have a good day, officer. You too, registrar. Jeremiah, chapter 1, from verse 4 to 10. Read. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ha, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. For the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee, to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand, and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations, and over the kingdoms, to root out, and to pull down, and to destroy, and to throw down, to build, and to plant. Hmm. Look up. There is so much undiscovered greatness inside of you. Walk with me, and I will bring them out. The world will limit you because they know your history. Death, do not limit me because I know your future. Have a great day.
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Good day, sir. Please, have you seen this young man anywhere around? No, I haven't. He was kidnapped from this school. Are you sure you've not seen him? He was kidnapped from this school. Jesus! Gone? Ah, if you move, you are ah. dead. Somebody help me. Somebody help Put me. Put your gun down. As an officer of the law, I am ordering you to put your gun down. No, I, I do not have a business with you. I have a business with you. Get out! Sir. Sir, please. I said, please hold the gun. put your gun down. Are we not? Until you get out of my head. What, 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 what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You call yourself an elder that have visited the third dimension. I'm here to prove one thing today. What? That you are a ghost! A ghost? What? I will explode you today! I tell everyone who you really are! Wait. If, if I'm a ghost, if I'm a ghost, why are you pointing the gun at me? Why, why, why is he pointing the gun at me? Anyone who has been on the third dimension is a ghost! <laughs> everyone listen! This man is a ghost! If I shoot him, you will not die! Let me show you. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me explain something, please. Trust me, he's not a ghost. I'm not. If he were a ghost, I wouldn't be able to see him. No. So put your gun down. Put your gun down. Have you been on the third dimension? Trust me, this man has. I know what I'm saying. Wait, wait, please. Please. Let, let, let me explain what happened. I don't have time for explanation. I'm only here for practical. And this man is my specimen. <laughs> I'm not anybody's specimen. Shut up! Listen to me. I know what you need, I assure you. If you let me help you, I will get you into a good hospital. But if you shoot this man, I will get you into a very good prison. So choose one. The prison cannot stop this man from visiting me. It's a ghost. I, I beg you, in the name of the Lord, my name is Martin. Martin Sawyer. I'm a lecturer. I'm not a ghost. He, he knows me. Mr. Kalapak, why don't you know me? No, I don't. I don't know you. Bye bye, Pedro. Bye bye, Pedro. Shut up! I don't know what you are looking for. But whatever it is, you can't get the answer here. Bro. You can't. My answer is standing right in front of me. Answer. Answer! You have been on the third dimension, true or false? I, I didn't go there. They took me there. They? He took me there. You have called your fire, true or false? It's not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Spirit of the Lord. I have no power of my own. I have no power of my Shut own. Shut up! That's why I see you, my dream! It can't be me. It's not me. Whenever I sleep, I see you. Everywhere I go, I see you. It, it can't be me. I, I, I am an ordinary school lecturer. I, I, I resume work eight o'clock. I, I close, I close work five. That's, it can't be me. Tell me why you let me be. You're always in my dreams. It can't be me. It, 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 it can't be me. What's my business with your dream? Why? Why am I not leave me alone? Okay, okay. Okay, can you can you drop the gun first so that we will discuss the um, the, the logistics, the, the, the modalities of, of my living? To hell with logistics! I'm going crazy here! Yeah? And you are discussing here telling me you, you, you need logistics to get out of my head! Don't they worry you! Put the gun down! Put the gun down! Let, 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 let me explain! Please! I assure you, if you do anything funny with that gun, yeah. You will land in jail. You will land in jail. Put the gun down. In jail? Yes. Who? 
want to know the real deal. The real deal is in the mind. And the only way I'm getting out of this jail is to break the jail. Officer, do you have another better solution, bro? Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Am I going wrong? I told you this is tr that is trouble. There is trouble. All you can say is no blood, no glory, no blood, no glory. That's all you can say. You know about the creed? The creed? Yes, yes. I know about the creed. You know about the blood? Yes. I, I know about the blood. You know about the glory? Ah, the glory. Yes, yes, yes. I know about the glory. No blood, no glory, no blood, no glory. Yes, yes, tell me more. Yes, yeah, we, 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 without the blood, there, there cannot be glory. Yes! You see, that's right. If, if, if Jesus did not shed, shed, shed his blood, we, 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 we would have witnessed his, his, his glory. That is why it's important for you, for you to drop, drop the gun. What? You see, you see, for the joy that was set before him, he witnessed the shame, he endured the cross, and he sat down at the throne of God the Father. You are taking me for a fool. I give you three seconds to give me what I want. What? Give him what he wants, please. I, I, I know what you are passing through. Just give me time to explain it. I don't have time to. I was in a cage too. You were? Yes. Yes. My father kept me isolated in the cage. Every now and then, he visits me. Not physically, but in the third dimension. See, many times, this man will threaten me in the third dimension. Whenever I get back to reality, people think I was running mad. Because I couldn't think straight. I couldn't think normally. Yes. I was taken to the psychiatric hospital. I was bounded and chained like, like a madman, screaming. I was shouting, begging to be free until one day, one day, Jesus appeared to me and gave me the power and authority. He said to me in his word that I have given you power to trample on snakes and scorpions and over all authority and nothing will hurt me. That was the key to my deliverance. That was the key that opened the gate of my prison. So when my father came visiting me again, he found himself locked up inside the prison. Inside the prison, but I was outside. I was outside the prison, holding the keys. Jesus gave me powers over the third dimension. So, when he tried to touch me, that was when you called down fire. and dreams in the heart of every man There is a desperate wanting for one thing or the other Jealousy, envy and hatred fill the air It is nothing compared to what we are yet to uncover But as for people of God standing on a new reality The solid rock that never fails darkness and over all principalities and far beyond the present evil that we see we are the light of the world we are the salt of the of every man It is meant for God but they go for one thing or another 
riches, fame and power are the only gods they know The sky is grey, I see the gathering of the vultures in this world but we belong to the kingdom of heaven